Shalom uh, Uvracha. We've been announcing the last couple of weeks that our uh, dedicated directors of these videos have found it impossible to continue if uh, no one is supporting the, the project. And we have about a week or two left until the cutoff point. If anyone can assist in sponsoring these videos, please contact them at www dot machlis presents m-a-c-h-l-i-s p-r-e-s-e-n-t-s dot org o-r-g uh, to, to facilitate a continuation of our programs if it doesn't happen I guess we're going to have to uh, figure out an alternative of some kind of amateur level and I don't think the uh, films will be on the same quality uh, uh, if there's anyone who can assist please please contact our, our directors thank you so so much uh, Shalom of Racha, Mirushalayim, Irakodesh. We are privileged this evening to study the special Haftarah of Parashat HaChodesh. Our prophetic reading of the Haftarah is taking this coming Shabbat from the 45th and 46th chapters of the book of Ezekiel. We're in we read of the future dedication of the temple to be, as well as certain guidelines and instructions for temple mikdash visitors. Those following in a text, please follow with me as we study sentence 9 of chapter 46 of Ezekiel from our Haftarah. Quote, Uvavo Amaaretz Lifne Hashem Bamoadim when the people of the land, when the masses of the people come before God in the temple on the special festivals, there's a special route, there's a special way that they are to enter and exit the temple. Haba Derech Shar Safon Lihishtachavot Yetse. Derech Sha'ar Hanegev. Whoever enters through the northern gate to bow down before God, whoever enters the temple to worship through the northern gate must leave via the southern gate. Vahaba Derech Sha'ar Hanegev. And the person entering, and whoever enters through the southern gate, Yetse Derech Sha'ar Tzafona. <coughs> Whoever enters through the southern gate must leave through the northern gate. Lo yashuv teaches uh, Ezekiel. Lo yashuv derech hashar asher bavo. It is prohibited. They're not allowed to go back through the same gate by which they came in. Ki necho yitzay, but rather should leave through the opposite opposite gate. Why is it that there is such a teaching? Why is there a prohibition to leave the temple courtyard through the same gate? Why is this one of the basic instructions for temple visitors? <laughs> what problem would be caused if they did leave through the very same direction, from the very same gate? I, I've seen several approaches, and I'd like to share some of them with you. There are those who suggested to read our text in the Haftarah merely as a system of temple traffic control. Since there were large number, masses of people entering, especially on the holidays, as on the holidays, there were ordained two orderly streams in procession. You couldn't make U-turns. You're going to mess up the whole the whole temple. No U-turns were permitted. This facilitated orderly entrance and exit experiences in the Mikdash and the Holy Temple. So there are other ones like this is a, a technicality. The best way to do it is get two lines, people coming in, people going out, northern entrance, southern exit, southern entrance, northern exit. Perhaps. However, Rashi and others suggest that by mandating the people to enter one gate and leave through the other, 
this law assisted the people in fulfilling the biblical commandment <laughs> on the holidays of Yerae. It says in the Torah, "You shall be seen." The person shall be seen in the in the sanctuary. It is an obligation to be seen. You have to you have to make your presence seen in the temple through the legislated rules of entrance and exit systems. In the language of Rashi, in his commentary to Yechezkel, mitzvah alehem sheyitra'u b'toch ha'azara yafeh yafeh. Each person entering the temple had to be seen, had to be very well seen by crossing the whole length of the courtyard from north to south or from south to north. They would fulfill and accomplish their requirement of being seen, very well seen in the temple area. They would see, the rabbis talk about year eh, year eh. They will see the temple, they will be seen in the temple. Seeing the temple and being seen in the temple, <coughs> crossing over from one direction uh, to the other. That's the approach of Rashi in several of the commentaries. There's yet, yet another approach, which learns the verse of our Haftarah in Yechezkel as a demonstrative act on the part of the temple visitor that he is in no hurry to leave. It's not merely a bowing experience. I come into the temple, I bow, and I just run right out. It's not merely a bowing experience and then an about, you know, turning around, about turn out of the temple. It was rather a demonstration of love, a demonstration of closeness. When a person is in a place, when a person is in an environment in which they feel very comfortable, he or she doesn't feel the desire to leave quickly. Just the opposite. When you're with the person you love in the place that you love, you want to stay there forever. Go all across the courtyard, north to south, south to north, to show, <laughs> to show yourself, to show others that you really, really deeply care. You really deeply are attached to this place of holiness. You really want to stay here. You deeply and really want to be staying in the temple. It's interesting to note that even in the halachic literature, much later, in the, in the, in the, in the legal codes of our people, in the tour and in the Shulchan Aruch, if you're interested in, in looking it up, it's in chapter Kufnun Aleph, chapter 151 of Orach Hayim. In the laws of synagogue attendance, Hilchot Beit HaKneset, the author of the Torah writes, when you enter a synagogue, don't leave through the same door. It's a special mitzvah to go through the other door, you know. Let's say, when you walk in through the northern door to your, to your synagogue prayer, don't walk out through the northern door. It's a special mitzvah. I'm not saying absolute obligation. He calls it a mitzvah. It's a, it's a higher level. F- go out the other way. Go, go, go the, take, take the further, uh, you know, the, the, the other exit. When one enters the synagogue to pray, leave through the other door, the opposite door. And the tour bases his teaching on the Talmudic discussion in Brachot 62, in Megillah 29, where the Talmud quotes our verse. Our verse is not talking about synagogues. Our verse is talking about the temple. They quote our text from Ezekiel and extend this idea not merely merely to the Mikdash temple, but to each and every synagogue as well. Don't rush back out of the same door. Walk out slowly from the other door, the far end. Take the far end entrance. Take the far far end exit out of the synagogue, thereby demonstrating how really you want to remain in your beloved shul. In the language of the Ran, in the language of the Ran, Rabbeinu Nisim, in his commentary to Tractate Megillah, V'ta'ama demilta mipnei shenir'eh kemahabivah. Through this form of behavior, we demonstrate our heartfelt love of the sanctuary Mikdash and our heartfelt love of the synagogue Beit HaKnesset. 
I did, however, Baruch Hashem, see yet another approach. This striking passage in our Haftarah is analyzed in a work entitled Ra'ayonot U Misarim, the Haftarat HaShavua, by Rav Shmuel Kohl. And in it he suggests that when we leave the temple through the other door, <laughs> we never get too familiar with any of the same doorways of the temple. He cites the commentary of Harav Yosef Ya'avet, one of the people who was uh, alive during the Spanish expulsion. He lived in Portugal and Spain. Unfortunately, went through very difficult periods at the end of the 15th century, beginning of the 16th century. Rav Yavet wrote it in his commentary on the ethics of the fathers. If you're interested in seeing it, it's in the Rav Yosef Yavet's commentary on Pirkei Avot, chapter 1, Mishnah 4, where he writes, he's speaking there about the importance of maintaining a, an excitement, a, a freshness, a, a, a certain level of, of, of uh, zrizut and hidlahavut for Torah observances. And then he writes, V'lozot ha and it's for this reason, says Rabbi Yosef Yavetz, Siva Hashem Yitzbarach HaKadosh Baruch Hu, God commanded in the laws of the temple that those entering the north have to leave in the south and those entering the south have to leave in the north because God wanted the masses to understand not to leave through the same gateway that they entered. Ki ikpid HaKadosh Baruch Hu shelo yireh hashar shtei pamin God did not want the temple visitor or the temple worshiper to see the identical uh, door twice. Can you shvembe? Because if you're used to walking into the door in, out, so maybe it looks like the door of your house. I walk in, I walk out, and, 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 and they lose, they they lose a certain, they lose a certain awe of temple of temple uh, respect. Can you shvembe enough to beto the kirota by the kirota? And he says because the amharets, the masses of people. At the beginning, they're very excited about a new spiritual experience. A new exciting spiritual experience always led them to a certain level, to a certain level of excitement. But as they would grow more and more accustomed to the same places, they would lose it. There needed to be an emphasis on the other door, on the other gate, on the other entrance, on the other side, to develop a new level of awareness, a new level of consciousness. Don't walk out through the same door. Shiru Hashem, Shir Chadash. Sing for God a new song. Sing a new song to God, says Isaiah. Shiru Hashem, Shir Chadash. Sing a new song to God, says King David in his Psalms. I have met great Jews here in Israel who uh, try at least once a year, some of them on Yom Atzmut, some of them other times, they're always looking for new places in Israel that they've never visited. They want, to, they want the new Dalit Amot. They want those new four cubits in the Holy Land because they feel a special level of the new, the new area. The Yavetz writes that the presence of the tent of God in the, in the, the meeting place of God in the, in the middle of the uh, camp of Israel was the cause of the fact that the Jewish people grew so accustomed to seeing the tent, the tent of Moses, the tent of God, this led them to the golden calf. They were too accustomed to seeing the special tent. It was right there in the middle. When Moshe understood, when Moses understood this, we read that after the sin of the golden calf, Moshe points out the Yavetz, sets up the tent far from the camp. He sets it outside. Well, what's the point of setting it? Oh, outside of the camp. Oh, outside of the camp. That creates a certain kind of the distance. You know, the uh, creates some kind of awe, creates and commands. Some type of respect. Moshe Rabbeinu Higish Bazeh V'Natalo Ata Ol Michutz La Machane Harchek Min Machane. Go out the other way. Don't feel too comfortable in and out of the same doors of the temple. In the forty seventh chapter of the third section of the Guide of the Perplexed, Maimonides suggests a similar idea. Rambam explains that the more one is exposed to a certain great phenomenon, the less impressed the person becomes. And he claims that many of the laws of ritual impurity were intended, this is the Rambam's contention, to limit your, a person can become impure in so many different ways. Well, why, why did God do that? Because God didn't want you coming to the temple all the time. Because if you're in the temple all the time, 
maybe you'll lose this special awareness of temple to limit the amount of time that we will be able to let, uh, enter, enter the Beit HaMikdash in order to create the necessary awe and excitement when we would enter. And finally, there's a Hasidic approach to our text. The Hasidic teachers, the Hasidic masters wrote that the person entering could not and should not leave via the same gate to tell the person, to broadcast to each of us. Every person entering the temple is no longer the same as when they entered. If you've come into the Beit HaMikdash, you're not going back the same way because you're not the same person, conceptually speaking. You cannot leave the same way you entered for you're no longer, you're no longer the same you. After entering the temple, a metamorphosis has taken place. Go out through the other way and make sure, make sure that you do your best to change for the better and to understand, to do your best that the level of understanding of the temple impacts upon all of us. Enter through the north, but exit through the south. Enter through the south, but exit through the north. You are now a changed person. Change your route. Thank you so much for listening. Yeah, thank you, Rabbi.